devotion blossoms beyond duality ano patrah pratavo yantu vishvatah ano bhadrah kratavo yantu vishvatah me from all directions noble thoughts come to me me from all directions noble thought come to each one of you this is a sutra from rigved 18911 there is a vast difference between trust and devotion trust is the seed for devotion to blossom and devotion is the fragrance of love when it blossoms and when devotion blossoms the seeker becomes devotee he is no more he is both a butterfly that hovers around the flowers collects the pollen and continues the process of germination and also what we see the mixing different the pollen of different flowers and honey bee collects the honey collects the nectar from the flowers and processes within its womb and brings out honey which is nectarine rich source of oxygen helps in the flow of energy within the system such is the state of a devotee through his pollination creates many different dimensions that you see around and also through his or her presence creates an aura of bliss trust in one other than you that is what trust is trust is one someone who is other than you and devotion happens when the lamp of god is lit within you then you are the temple of god and you do not have to go to the temple outside in devotion you become the place of worship not the priest for worship you become the place of worship not the priest for worship devotion blossoms when you are capable to see formless hidden behind each form and as long as you remain stuck in the form only trust can arise the inner taste of each awakened one is the same because he is living in a different times different situations and circumstances his manifestations may be different you have a countertop stove it has four burners five burners each have a different btu unit because you do not need the same size of the flame same size of the flame from each burner and the one that is in the center for grill that needs much more temperature so it is of a different it flames its flame is of a different nature so normally it goes from 3000 btu 6000 btu 4500 btu 17000 btu that's the normal way of the so in the same way each master works with a different energy field and is not that he op- he has only one type of one size of flame 
he uses it according to the disciple when you are cooking something when you have to simply warm up something you use a lesser btu so first of all when someone's energy is frozen needs to melt and for that a longer time and a smaller flame is needed so that's why master operates at different levels of flames or btu the moment you see beyond the form means you are not in the waves waves have dissolved and there is only ocean such vision of devotion gives you absolute freedom of life and absolute freedom of life and freedom in life devotion says entire sky is yours god has given you wings in the form of devotions start flying and soaring to infinite horizon i have heard from someone that is in urdu kisi bhi fun mein ustad ka hona bai se barkat hota hai in any field the presence of a teacher is a blessing in any field the presence of a teacher or a master is a blessing wo zindagi wo kisi khas cheez ki taaleem nahi deta he does not teach you anything specific about anything specific wo zindagi jeene ka falsafa sikhata hai he teaches you how to live life life is not spiritual how you cook what you eat how you maintain your health physical health emotional health and intellectual health he teaches you how to live your life in a harmonious way managing all the aspects that life comprises of he will focus on what to eat what to cook how to cook how to keep the meals balanced how to keep your blood alkaline so that it does not create any physical ailments or complaints so zindagi jeene ka falsafa sikhata hai teaches you how to live your life harmoniously blending all the aspects how to rear the children how to take care of the friends and family in every aspect that you can conceive of he sows the seed and the seed blossoms in myriad forms in every aspect you will realize that it starts beginning to change and transform in your life that is the total transformation do not let your eyes see only the bodily beauty nothing is wrong in the beauty of the body cherish it respect it adore it because all beauties is the manifestation of god when you see a man or a woman beautiful this is his reflection and respect that beauty cherish it maybe the beauty in the man or a woman is a far away echo yet is still it is beauty see beyond the formful to envision deeper beauty that is eternal a master sees your eternal beauty not the beauty of the body he cherishes it he knows it is echo of the divine but the inner beauty that needs to manifest out of your each actions and gestures and so do not use the ears to listen to the sounds of the birds do not l- use your ears to listen to the sounds of the world that is one of the very important prayers of the upanishads bhadram karne bhi shunuyam deva 
may I see that which is to be seen, that is, may I hear that which has to be heard. Allow your ears, tune your ears to hear the unheard sound that surrounds all around as the pulse of cosmos. Allow your ears to hear the unheard sound that echoes and surrounds all around as the pulse of the cosmos. Let your ears hear the emptiness too. Let your ears hear the pulse of silence too. Silence has its own melody. Do not let hands touch that can be touched. There is something that cannot be touched yet that can come into the hands. Hearing the silence or emptiness has its unique beauty from the make your hands, develop your hands that you can touch the untouched. The untouched aspect of your being, the untouched aspect of your presence, you are not touching yet, still you are touching every aspect, every part of that person. And do not let the heart drown in unnecessary worry. Do not let the heart drown in unnecessary worry. Let the heart be connected to the essential as well. Let your heart be connected to the essential as well. There is something essential in each heart overflowing. My effort here is to give you, my effort here is to give you the vaccine that I am making, vaccine of love, understanding, noble thoughts and awakening. This vaccine I am giving you so that you can grow into your potential and then start sharing the same vaccine of love, understanding, noble thoughts, noble presence and awakening to whosoever comes in your company. Whether the person is connected to you spiritually or not, that is not important. The person has come into your company. That is what is very important. Give him the invisible back vaccine of love, understanding, noble thought and awakening. This is what I expect from you, nothing else. The vaccine of love, understanding, noble thought and awakening that I have given it to you, start sharing with others. My effort is to infuse light that kindles from within and is spread around and surrounds you. My effort is to infuse and kindle that light from within and is spread around and surrounds you. My way is to establish a connection between internet that you know, an inner net. My effort is to establish a connection between inner net and internet in each one of you, in each one of you. So you are connected both through the scientifically, you know the scientific aspect of everything and the inner aspect of growth and development and blend it to Anobhadra Kratavoyantu Vishwataha May noble thoughts enter from all around.